Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk about spring event ideas. We have talked before about how to structure events in your roleplay group, so I'm going to link that video up in the cards. You can go watch that. I recommend watching that one first before you watch this one, so that way you'll know a little bit about how I like to set up events. Now, I tend to run my role plays kind of coinciding just a little bit with kind of real life time. So if it's springtime in real life, then it's springtime in the role play, even if it's not following like exactly real time, since, you know, of course, threads take time. So we're going to talk about springtime events because it's the beginning of spring. So what sort of events could you do in your role play for this time of year? If you're more of a one-on-one -on -one sort of role player, stay tuned because even though you're not running role play groups, these are still some great ideas for threads that you can do in the springtime. So just like when we talked about winter themed event ideas, some of these are going to be really dependent on the type of role play. So keep that in mind that just because something is normal in the springtime for our modern world, that doesn't mean it's normal for your role play. So just consider that. So let's start with holidays. The obvious springtime holiday, of course, is Easter. Easter started out as a pagan festival celebrating the beginning of spring and fertility. So that's where all the bunnies and chicks and eggs come from, of course. Today, there are also a lot of Christian traditions when it comes to Easter. So depending on your type of role play will depend on if the event features more of those pagan elements, more of those Christian elements, or a mix of both. Consider having an event where characters exchange chocolates or do an Easter egg hunt or maybe paint Easter eggs, or maybe there's an Easter dinner involved. In the US, Memorial Day also takes place in spring. And what Memorial Day means for how we celebrate is barbecues. So even if your role play doesn't take place in the US, I bet still during springtime, barbecues are a great thing that you can do. The weather's starting to get warmer in spring, people are excited to be outside, so grilling out is what that means. Consider maybe an event that takes place in a park where your characters can play field soccer or cook outside. Maybe if your characters have kids, there's a playground there where they can play. Consider also a flower festival. Lots of places around the world have flower-based holidays in the springtime. In Canada, they have the Tulip Festival. In Japan, they have Hanami. And maybe this is a good time for having an event where characters maybe plant flowers or admire flowers or do flower arranging or something like that. Springtime is also when the Indian festival of Holi takes place. This is a Hindu celebration for the beginning of spring. It takes place during the first full moon of March and people light bonfires to celebrate the triumph of good over evil. This is also the one that I'm sure you've seen pictures of, where people throw colored powder and spray colored water on each other. Since spring means better weather and everyone going outside, essentially anything that takes place outside is also a good idea for a springtime event. Think concerts, fireworks, art festivals, sports festivals, or essentially anything where the point is for people to gather outdoors. And just like when we talked about winter events, remember these types of gatherings are a great opportunity to have your antagonist swoop in and ruin the fun. When it comes to spring weather events that you could feature in your role play, think thunderstorms and tornadoes, since rain and wind are features of springtime weather. So those are my springtime event ideas. I also made a video about winter event ideas. If you're interested in those, click the little card right there. What events do you guys like to do in springtime for your role plays? Let me know in the comments down below. And remember to like if you like this video, comment down below with any questions that you have, subscribe for more videos, click that bell for notifications, all the links to my social media down in the doobly-doo. Thank you so much for watching and make it a great day.